Okay, so boom, that time G about to get <laughs> hit up in his sleep because penitentiary rules is in effect. And if you ain't never been to the penitentiary, I advise you to never go to the penitentiary. So after count me and one of the guys, we finna go and get a workout in. Because when you was affiliated with the org, you know what I'm saying, you gotta get at least two workouts in a week. We're gonna start out on the bottom walk, you know what I'm saying? We're gonna get the calisthenics, probably do a couple of push-ups, do a couple of pull-ups on the bars, you know what I'm saying? Do some burpees, then we're gonna hit them steps, you know what I'm saying? Them steps gonna work you out. Then by the time we get up the steps, we're gonna work out on the top walk. We're gonna hit all four corners on the rail so we can hit them back on, you know what I'm saying, get that all right. Then I'm going to go down there and take a couple of pictures, you know what I'm saying, let my girl see their penitentiary physique or whatnot, take a couple of pictures of my back, you know what I'm saying, so she can see I'm going to treat her like Melvin all baby boy when I get home, African squat squat around the house, you know what I'm saying, because believe it or not, you know what I'm saying, a woman like a man with a strong back, they looking at their back, you know what I'm saying, if you don't believe in women, drop it in the comment section, tell y'all looking at their back, y'all like a strong little back, so while we in here working out or whatnot, one of the guys, he come in. The administration done dropped the memo that the basketball league about to pop off. When the basketball league pop off, every unit get to put together a basketball team out of their unit. However they pick their players, however they pick them. You can have up to 10 players, and then you got to have a coach and an assistant coach just in case something go on with one of the coaches. You can't come down here and play if you ain't got no coach. And it got to be the coach that's on the paperwork that y'all done chose out of the unit. So, bro, come in. You know what I'm saying? We really already got, we got about six or seven hoopers in our unit. You know what I'm saying? Then we're going to put together a couple of little flunkies, you know what I'm saying, that can foul some folks and get on up out of the way. So when Brooke come in and say that, you know what I'm saying, I ain't got to go down here and campaign. I'm already knowing they picking me to be the point guard in here. I'm going to be the number one. I ain't even tripping. So we don't put together our team or whatnot, right? One thing I didn't like about the basketball league, it's dangerous when you go down there. Because if your unit don't get called to the, if it ain't your unit gym call the same day y'all got gym, it's going to be the units from the bottom of the hill that's going to be down there, which means the guys from the bottom of the hill got to be on security for the guys at the top of the hill and vice versa. And another thing about it, I ain't finna be nothing but a bunch of affiliated people playing. It might be a couple of neutral. It might, it might be a couple of people that's neutral on the team. You might have one or two neutrals on the team. And listen to me, they're going to be the nicest people on the court. Because one thing about playing in that gym, they're going to get the trash talking in there. And when you trash talk in the penitentiary, when you go too far, at some point, somebody going to go in somebody's mouth. And then you got to keep in mind, when we put these teams together, you got a mixture of all the affiliations on the compound. You got G's on the team, Crips on the team, and Vice Lords on the team. And then you already know these Crips got all of these hoods on the compound, so we might have three different hoods on one team as well. I don't like going down there when it's like that, because if it pop off in that gym, let me tell you something, it's different, because if... Yo, yo, people get into it with they people. Guess what? Everybody gonna have to crash nine times out of ten because it's not gonna be no one-on-one -on -one situation. But when the game is good, the game is good. So guess what? We the we the reign of champs. Everybody ready to play against us. You know what I'm saying? It's the first game on the compound. We go down here. We got two 15-minute quarters, 30-minute game. We go down here, we about 10 minutes in the game. Are we up about 15? I'm bringing the ball down, right? It's a dude. He play on the, he, he on the other, it's, it's, it's unit seven versus unit eight. We ain't playing no unit on the bottom of the hill. So our, our guys is in, the, is in the gym at this point. We playing the unit across. It's a dude from the unit across. I like to call him Patrick Beverly because the man is so aggressive on defense. Listen to me. <laughs> you gonna almost get into it with this guy. Not only is he aggressive, he gonna be talking crazy and that, and that boy breath funky. So he like he like to guard me. You know, Patrick Beverly always like to guard the best. You know what I'm saying? So he guard me. He been aggressive all game. I'm cool with that. I can take physical contact. You know what I'm saying? I play basketball a lot of my life. I ain't tripping on that. And then I'm not finna crash out the guys in here anyway. So I bring down the ball right. We already up 15. Soon as I cross the threshold, cause he know I hit him like stealth from deep. You know, go on and play me monkey. You want... I done already turned around and walked out. Joe T, you ain't even looking. This old whip. So look, when I come down, he, he, he man, this dude. So I call for the pick out. My boy, out. My boy about six seven. I'm talking about six seven. You throw that ball up in my, he gonna go up there and get it. So he come and set me a screen. When he come and set me the screen, little Patrick Beverly, this man so aggressive, guess what he finna try to do? He finna try to fight through this man who six seven, probably 240, 245. 
You know what I'm saying? He a little slim, but my he cut up. He gonna try to fight through this screen, knowing that the dude, dude already telling him, switch, switch the screen. He try to fight through the screen and follow me, which means he finna leave bruh open for the this to me. I, I come down, he set the screen, I go around the screen. As soon as I go around the screen, I tell my guy, roll, roll, roll. He roll around the screen. Dude push him. He said, man, sweet. He said, man, go. He said, man, I got your teeth. So he tried to catch up with the dude who's six, seven. Dude go up. Patrick Beverly grabbed this man on. Listen, I'm already spooked just looking at it. Because I throw the ball up. Soon as he, I said, man, roll, roll, roll. Soon as I go around the screen, I'm kind of following him at the same time if y'all know basketball. So both of them, if they look, he, he try to catch dude out. Huh, I love him up high. My guy jump up there. Huh. Patrick Beverly go to catch him. He grabbed this man, pull him down. He still managed to like LeBron James strong as hell. My boy. Huh. But he missed it. Huh. Ref. Oh, my guy go to the lane. He finna shoot too. When you the point guard, you know, you at the you can sit at half court. As long as you behind the three-point perimeter. You know what I'm saying? But me, I hang I hang back, back by the three-point line. You know what I'm saying? Cause they like the snowbird in the penitentiary. If you don't know what snowbird is, they let me know you ain't never been no hooper. And if you ain't never been no hooper, get what? You don't want to see me on the court. No, no, on no three on three, no five on five, no one on one, no none of that. You know what I'm saying? So look, I'm hanging back low. My guy, he shoot the free throw right. He knock it down. We, I see you, G-Bot. I see you, G-Bot. Man, come on with all that Joe T. Man, you know, already know what it is. Big G and hook. Huh. So he go shoot the next one, right? When he shoot the next one, he miss it. Patrick Beverly is on the block down here. One of the guys jump up to get the rebound. When he jump up to get the rebound, Patrick Beverly is all on this man's back. I'm looking. I'm looking because I'm just waiting on my guy. He throw it all down there. Come on. And one uh, to the line. What is, what is you doing? He jump up. He grab bruh on. Bruh come down. When he come down, he throw the elbow. When he throw the elbow out, poof, he hit Patrick Beverly with that bow. When he hit him with the bow, listen, Patrick Beverly immediately re respond. He 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 a crip. This one of the guys. Out of all the people on the court, it seemed like I'm always at the wrong place at the wrong time. Why do it have to be one? Why couldn't it have been a vice lord? Why couldn't it have been a different set of a crib? Why couldn't it have been one of these neutral? Why? It seemed like every time I end up in a situation where I'm having to pray in my head, but at the, my body language got to look like I'm a rat. I'm not trying to ride with y'all, G. You know what I'm saying? Not saying that I won't ride, but I ain't got a life sentence. We need to be getting something understood when we go in situations like that. If something pop off in here, everybody with 25 or better need to be the ones who go. Everybody else, y'all need to sit back and just be on secure, make sure ain't nobody doing no stabbing or this isn't it. Y'all need to watch everything. If you got 25 or better, you, 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 yeah, go and crash out. We're going to see you some food. We're going to see you TV, tobacco. We're going to see you whatever you want back there. If you got, listen, if you ain't got that much time, we need to be trying to get you home. At that point blank period. So I'm sitting here. When I see this happen, you know, it just seems like everything started moving in slow motion. And my brain is saying, what in the world is going on? So he go to push, bro. When he push, bro, cool. bro, hit him with, listen, I already knew what was going to happen. When he push, bro, he... Man, you got me messed up, dude. Bro, grab the ball. Boom, boom, hit him in the face. When bro hit him in the face, two, 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 two. By this time, I said, oh, man. You got to keep in mind, I'm half court. So I can take my time to kind of run up here, right? I ain't running. I'm finna walk because I see everybody swarm in. The officer is in here in the weight pile. He heard all this. He heard, man, come, hold on, come up to me, G. Hold up, G. He heard all this. The officer come out. They squaring up. They hoo, 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 hoo. The officer come out. Hur, hur. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, yeah. He'll stop everything. Hold on. They ain't stopping nothing. They, man, we good, man. We good. We good. Y'all hold on, hold on. He said, man, y'all take that in the weight room. Wait a Hold on. Hold on, CO. Oh, no. Now, wait a minute, son. The, the, the gang members just said that it's over with. They said that they done. Why is you telling them folks to take that stuff in the, in the weight room? You know how many times I done seen folks get hit with the weights in them? When I, when I was at the penitentiary with my daddy, listen, I seen somebody get crossed out. You know what I'm saying? While he on the way pal with the bitch, they hit him with one of them, one of them 45. That, ugh, I'm talking about took my boy's school on. The way pal is the most dangerous place to get in a fight, especially if you fight somebody 
who pride get in the way and know that he losing and he grab one of them dumbbells, man, listen, it's over with. So he, man, y'all go on. They said they do. They said they do. So they, they, they break the fight up or whatever. We finished the game off. But when we finish the game off, you got to keep in mind, it was still two affiliations who got into it in the penitentiary. Which means this finna put us on high alert. So when we leave the G's now, we not walking two by two. We're gonna have to get everybody together. We got 15, 16 G's walking together. All the Crips, different hoods, walking together. All the Vice Lords, walking together. All the Air Nations and the other, and, and the other Caucasian guys, walking together. The PRs and all the rest of them, they walk however they want to walk. All the affiliations is walking together. As we walking back, you know, it's some whispering going on about what just happened on the court. Regardless if they left it on the court, it's still some whispering going on about what happened. So as we walking back, they already saying, yeah, folks, when we get back, go holler at such and such and such and such, man, tell them we need the knife. I'm not holding no knife on myself, folks. I'm not doing none of that because now that we don't have, and then not only that, we finna have to run shower security on high alert. Everybody know Joe T don't like to get escorted to the shower. Just get on point and watch me as I walk. I'm not trying to get confirmed in here. I'm not trying to get no FBI number. All this over. With. Commercial break me, please. And if you ain't went and got my book, I got it back on sale. I got the two for one. You can get both books right now for 25 on my website, jtb3.org. The link is going to be in the description. I appreciate y'all rocking with me. Everybody who been cash me a dollar for the next story. If you don't mind, cash app me a dollar. It's okay, so boom. One. I also... I got my first three books in a bundle. You can get out. I don't got a copy of my third one. You can get all three of my first three books for 25 on my website. I also have an audio version to this book. And everybody who been asking for the audio version to the at war with myself, I'm about to get on that. And I'm going to knock that down for you. Back to the story, though. Penitentiary rules is in effect. If you ain't never been to the penitentiary, I advise you to never go to the penitentiary. When they on high alert, listen to me. The way they run the shower is completely different. And that, now you got two walls on the shower. You got four. You got four showers on on the left wall. You got four showers on the, on the right wall, which is a total of eight showers. Two of the showers when they on high alert. If the Crips ain't going and the, all the other affiliations ain't going, two showers belong to the Crip to the Crips. You know what showers they are. Just like it's two tables in the chair hall that belong to the Crips. You got two showers that belong to the Vice Lord. You know what showers belong to the Vice Lord. Don't go in there. We is on high alert. Just like they got two tables in the in the in the, in the chair hall that belong to the Vice Lord. You got some showers that belong to the Caucasian gangs. You got you got two showers that belong, and then you got two showers that belong to the G's. The other two showers, y'all do whatever y'all do what y'all need to do in them two showers if you ain't affiliated. And you can always tell what's up going on in the penitentiary because it get real quiet and it seems like some real suspicious activity is going on. So I'm, 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 in my, I'm in the cell breaking down. I'm already knowing what time it is. I'm hearing everybody, shout, shout, shout. Man, listen, I hated hearing that in the penitentiary. And if you break that shower security, if you get in the way, them folks gonna try to extort you. They gonna charge you. Or nine times out of ten in a situation like this, they probably gonna go upside your head. They gonna let you go and take finish doing what you what you were doing. Then they gonna come bump down on you in the cell. So I'm in the cell. I'm breaking down. I got two of the guys outside of my cell about to escort me to the shower. One on the left, one on the right. Sometimes you might even have one behind you. And then you're going to have like almost a line. You're going to have five brothers total. You're going to have two escorting you. One going to be a little bit outside of the door. Another one going to be right at the corner to turn you to go to the shower. And then another one going to open the door for you. Let you go in the cell, in the shower. Boom. <laughs> he going to secure you in the shower. Then he going to tap the door. All right, G-Bot, let me know when you're ready. And then you you going to have a brother standing by the shower the whole time you in the shower. Like, that's just extremely too much. The police is in here. Do, do, do you think they don't see that you taking me to the shower, G? I, don't, I ain't got time for all this. So finally hit the door. Pop, pop, pop. You ready, Joe T? Yeah, 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 I'm ready. I'll pop the door. Pop. Soon as I come out, and we gotta walk a little. You gotta, you can't, you you ain't just taking your time when you're on high alert. You got they get you to the shower and get you out because they have to do this with every single brother in the unit. So I come out and say we march. I get to the shower, back pow, they get and see in your mind in the penitentiary, it'll make you, it'll trick you. 
It'll make you feel like you presidential. It'll make you feel like you exclusive or something because these folks, these folks escort you to the shower. It's foolery. It's actually foolish that a grown man in my head is being escorted by five or six other grown men to go to the shower for situation I ain't got nothing to do with. And everybody else is doing the same thing. It's just chaos. So I get through with the shower. I got to tap on the door. All right, G, I'm ready. They going to unlock the door. <laughs> Come on now, G. We're going to... One brother suddenly put his hand around you like y'all know. Have y'all ever been to commercial break me, please? Y'all ever been to the club and you got your homeboy every time it's getting live or he always got his arm around you? Man, get up off of me. You got them same kind of brothers in the penitentiary. You come out to go to the shower, they feel like they got to put their, come on, G. Come on, G. Man, get your arm up off me, family. Like, what is you doing, bro? You, I already got my shirt off. What's wrong with you? So, look, they, they take me to the cell, secure me in the cell. They got to open up my cell door for me and everything. I can't even tell. They, all right, go on in the cell. They, they, all right, I'm finna secure you. good? Boom. They going to secure the door when you come from the shower. You can't even have a rig in your door because they know you getting dressed. They finna go on to the next, they finna go on to the next cell. So I gotta sit in here and get dressed and then nine times out of ten. Have the police come and unlock my door. Unless one of the guys is in the cell with me and he's standing outside the cell while I get dressed. Y'all just doing too much. So I get dressed. At this time, I'm I got a I got a spot at the time. I'm the security. They come to the door. Ta, 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 ta. After, you know what I'm saying, they been doing whatever they do. I said, man, what's going on? Hey, we need to holler at you real quick, G-Body. I said, oh, come on, the door, real, come on in. They Bless his zeal. I'm looking at them. They looking at me. We looking at each other. I said, man, what's going on? They said, man, uh, man, Cuz said he wanted his one with bro. He said it wasn't over with in the gym. I said, do what? Now, see, I wanted to pull the move that the guys pulled with me the first, my first fight in the penitentiary when I got to fight with a crib. When I got to fight with the crib, we got him up. You know what I'm saying? I went took care of my business, you know what I'm saying? Split it him open. And then he wanted to fight me again. And the folks told him right then and there, I oh, ain't no more fight. That's over with. Y'all want to do anything else, yeah, we're going to pull them knives out. I said, oh, yeah. <laughs> but anyway, y'all going to pull the knives out, right? <laughs> it ain't going to do me. Y'all going to pull them out. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't, don't. Don't involve me in that. Like, I don't mind fighting again. You know what I'm saying? I'm not finna do, we're not finna do no stabbing. That's like, that's a whole nother charm. That's the game I'm ready to run. But it didn't go down like that on the court. It was just a couple of, you know what I'm saying? And it was over because the police. So now the crip is asking for a one-on-one. He can't fight, bro. Bro is huge. And see, in the pentim, that's the thing. I depend on where you at. Depends on what kind of structure you involved in, but depending on what kind of guys and what kind of other affiliations you around. A lot of times when they ask for a one like that, and it's one of theirs, and they know the dude he trying to get a one-on-one -on -one with is too big for him, they go ask for somebody who didn't even have nothing to do with this to match the size of this guy. So this is this particular situation. They come over there like, man, bro said he want a one-on-one, -on -one, whatever, whatever. Said he ready to fight anybody that's his size as long as it's one of the folks. I said, man, I said, that's crazy. The guys at this point, you know what I'm saying? They were like, man, we really, you know what I'm saying? We ain't even got a this, this, and that, or whatever. One of the brothers in there who real hot-headed, I don't even know why they brought him. Soon as he heard them say, he said he want to fight somebody, he hair up and sign up. Oh, I, I, I'll get him up with him. I'm going to beat him. I'm going to beat him. I'm going to make him holler at GD. I'm going to make him say GD. For some reason, that was a thing in a penitentiary. A lot of guys, when they get to fight with other people who are affiliated, they going to make them scream out their affiliation, especially if they start getting the best of them. And when you do that nine times out of ten, if the people you affiliated with hear you say that you are, <laughs> hear you say that, they going to smash you off. So, look, bro, oh, I'm going to make him say GD. I'm going to make him tap out. I'm going to make him say GD. So, when he say that, I'm like, you Sure, he like yeah, yeah, yeah. I ain't even tripping. I get him up with him. I get him up with him, bro. I ain't even gotta fight him, cause bro gonna beat him in there. I'm gonna beat him too. But bro gonna really do him some bad going. I said that was. A, I said man, y'all, you know, if that's what he wanna do, you know what I'm saying? He wanted one. Tell him we'll get him one. You know what I'm saying? We we ain't tripping. Let them know the folks don't stand there. Let, go ten minutes. Here what it is. So they arrange it, pick the sale or whatever, whatever. I'm not going over there on security. I'm not doing no nothing. I'm not doing this. I'm gonna stand right over here by myself. I can see what's going on. Y'all pick, you know what I'm saying, whoever going on over there on security, this and that. Listen, I ain't tripping on riding. <laughs> don't get me wrong. I believe in using my mind and using my brain. If, if I don't have to put myself in a situation that's going to get me in more trouble, I'm going to utilize that route. 
I'm not finna be in here trying to prove nothing that I'm on go mode. Yeah, I'm on go mode, but I ain't on stupid mode. See, there's a lot of people just be on, they, you on stupid mode. You want to prove a point. You want some val some validation. You want to prove to these points, that you, these people that you going to go, you going to do this and you going to do that. You going to be the one back there in the hole and then you going to realize that you was dumb. I'm not me. <laughs> I'm not, I'm not going to do that. I'm not. So they arranged this, right? It go down in the cell. Bruh beat the bricks off of this man that here done made this man say he was GD. So when he holler out he's GD, you already know what time it is. The Crips is finna get on your head. He done beat. And then bruh come out of the cell screaming GD. And when he come out of the cell, when he come out of the cell screaming GD, all the other G, man, big G, big G, yeah, GD on that. GD, then they get the hitting up in the cell and then that's, oh, wait, 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 wait. We ain't official. We, we're not gang members in here. They ain't they, they, Big G. Big G. Yeah. Big G. I said, man, when they look over me, I don't even really want to do it. I just, Big G. Big G. Big G. You know what I'm saying? I fall in the cell. I'm not finna keep on throwing up these signs. Which I, yeah, Big G. It's all with. How's when we're going on? Brother done beat him over. Brother done beat the brakes off of him in the cell over. Man, for real. Man, that's crazy. Got what, dog? Oh, see, that ain't how it go. <laughs> see, a lot of people see pride get, pride, your pride get uh, 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 abused in there. You know what I'm saying? Your, your, your ego get in the way. See, now you got to go back over here with your homeboys and you done asked for a one-on-one. -on -one. You are already done, <laughs> you're already done got bold down here and two-piece down here. Then you done asked for a one-on-one. -on -one. They done gave you somebody your side. Then you go in here and get beat up. And now this man done made you scream that you GD. Nine times out of ten, get what the Crips finna do. The Crips finna tell you all you got a rule. Ain't nothing with you. We not knowing, though. We on high alert still. So when we get up the next morning, it's already, it's still understood like the bar. Look, whoever going to breakfast, you know what I'm saying? Y'all mob everybody go down there together. This, 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 this. That's what's supposed to happen. But a lot of times, just like what I told y'all in the last story, when you the business and you got another brother in the cell with you, when he get up in the morning and he come out of that cell, he's supposed to advise you for security purposes that he leaving out of the cell. Now, if you acknowledge to the, to the brother that you woke and you let him leave the door in, that is on you at that point. He told you he was leaving. If you know it, you ain't finna get up, tell him to lock the door. He gonna have to get the police to unlock the door, you know what I'm saying, when they come in. In this situation, bruh not thinking at the time. He thinking in his own way. He thinking it's squash. We still on semi, we still on alert of what's going on, but you know what I'm saying, something, it ain't nothing. When you think it's over, a lot of times, it's not over. Just because that, you know what I'm saying? We don't know what them folks discussed over there. What we do know is he ain't back there in PC. So they get up, they go to breakfast. Guess what? The brother who beat up the brother wasn't in the cell with another brother. He was in the cell with somebody he knew from home. Guess what this man do? This man get up. I don't know if he told bro or not. He get up, he go to breakfast. Guess what? The dough rigged. When the door was red, it's a couple of crips over there who didn't go to town. Guess what they waited for? Wait, guess what they waited for? Seeing that the guy is mobbed out. The crips come through the unit. A lot of times in the breakfast, a lot of times in the morning, you're gonna have your old heads hanging out. You might have a couple of people who are affiliated hanging out. Just so happened this morning, it's only one brother in the unit. Guess where he at? He on the top walk. He walk around drinking his coffee. You always got him too. He walk around drinking his coffee. The brother, he, so when you come through the unit, you got the wall that's going to go to the right. You got a wall to go to the left. Then you got a wall to go to the right. On the wall to go to the left and right, you got seven cells on both sides. So it's easy to get to them cells. He three cells down on the right side, which means when he come through the unit, he gonna pass them four showers on the right. Boom, he can go down, <laughs> he go in the cell. It's on him popping. He don't know if the door rig, but he finna try it. So them brothers don't went down there. <laughs> I'm in the cell, I'm cool. I'm on the phone, I don't know what's going on. This guy come in the unit, the crib. He come in the unit, boom, fade in. One of the, another crib come with him. Get what? He run in the cell. Bruh, in their sleep. Literally, door rig, door unlock. He run in the cell. Cause when the door rig, you could take like an ID card. That's when I say it's rig. It's something in the door to where you can all, where you could just and you can push the door open. When it's secured, you can't put nothing in it. That's what was, that's what I mean when I say rig. And he already got the violation up, so nobody can't see it. 
He don't even really know if bro in there, bro. Oh, he was just prepared to go in there and do whatever it is. Just so happened, bro was in there asleep. This man run over a cop, popped the door, go in. When he when he pulled it, when he go in, I guess when he snatched the door, he locked the door. It's locked. He whoo, he go in, get the you, you, you can listen. Anybody who ever been to the penitentiary, y'all know what I'm about to say is true. When you hear them types of screams. You know somebody getting stabbed. He, ha, ha, he, hoo, hoo, hoo. he get up. True enough, he end up fighting him back. But he end up stabbing, bro, in his sleep. True, and then he get caught in the sleep, in the cell. The brother from upstairs, he run down there with. What's going on out there? What's going on? Man, they is tripping. <laughs> I'm not finna go out there. So he run down when he run to the cell. Bro locked in the cell. They in their fight. He done stab, bro. <laughs> they in their fight. <laughs> now, the decision got to be made. Do you get the police to open the door? Or do you or do, or do you wait until, because they got the button in the inside of the cell, <laughs> where they can pop the cell? And then at this point, the thing going to be is, when they pop the door, guess what's going to happen? Now, a war about to pop off. Because we don't know if they done smashed this man off or not. Now he got the G's and the Crips is into it. Get what I'm doing. I'm sitting in the cell. Just so happened. <laughs> thank God. The police heard what was going on. He come in from out of the breezeway. Man, what's going on in here? He see bruh standing over by the cell. They fighting all up against the door. You can hear doo, 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 doo. The police called the call. <laughs> When he called the code, the police run up there. They go to the cell. They, y'all get out, get out, get out. They pull bro out. He hit, hit bro about two, three times. Like he ain't, it, you could tell he would bleed, but not like leaking, leaking. Man, listen to me. Had bro not got up, and, man, listen to me. Ain't no telling what would have happened. So they bring him out of the cell. They don't even cuff bro up. They call medical. They cuff the other dude up. They end up escorting him, taking him to the hole. They call medical down there to the unit. You know what I'm saying? When medical get there, they do whatever, and they take him up to what they take him up there. But this is this is what I'm trying to tell you right now. Commercial break me, please. If y'all ain't already got the book, like I told you, go get the book and support the kid. You know what I'm saying? I got both books on sale right now for 25. Go to jtb3.org. In this situation right here, if you didn't pay attention, this situation, this brother end up getting stabbed. For something he was not even really a, he a part of GD, but he wasn't a part of the situation that happened on at the gym. But because of what he was attached to, he ended up being in this situation. Now you gotta call home and tell your family that you got stabbed or something happened to you, and they gonna and they ask you what happened. You gonna tell your people. Man, we were down there at the gym, man. Bro got into it with dude. Dude said he wanted to get up with him, you know what I'm saying? But bro was too big, so I told him I'll fight him for him. And now you done got stabbed? It don't even make no sense. It's just the, the logic of it is crazy. But then not only that, they put y'all, they put you in these types of put in, in, in these types of predicaments. Because it is situations where they want to get them up. And the other affiliation might be like, man, bro too big, you know what I'm saying? Get somebody that's, that's his side, or give or we'll find somebody that's his side. You know what I'm saying? So them to fight one on one. Just so it happened, this was a situation where the dude who felt that he was wrong, he wanted to fight somebody his side. The dude who fight him his side. Beat him up, end up getting stabbed and had to go to the medical. Who wanna live like that? It was plenty of situations like that where I sit back and was like, man, ain't no way. Ain't no way y'all gonna come in here and tell me, HOT, hey, man, dude over there said, you know what I'm saying, they try to get a one on one, but they need somebody to fight him. This your this his side, you know what I'm saying? You you about the same size as him, Joe T. We need you to go over there and handle that G B to read. Who? Who? Oh, who? You want me to go over and fight him? I'm not gonna do that, family. There's a lot of other people in here that's the same size, bro. I don't even know why y'all picking me. It ain't that I'm scared, but I'm with one thing for sure, two things for certain. I'm a man. <laughs> Before anything, you're not finna go over here and recruit me to fight somebody else's battle. This man started this stuff down here, whatever popped off. Y'all just tell me I gotta go over and fight for him. Who? I'm not doing that. And in this situation, somebody end up almost getting killed. I'm not doing that. He literally ran in this man's cell while he was sleeping, got poked on. No sir, re ball. That's no re. I don't understand. Listen, affiliation in gangs only made sense 
when I was young. When I was a child, I thought as a child. But when I became a man, you know what I'm saying, I did away with childish ways and childish things. See, when you growing up, a lot of things, you got a lot of voids in you. You don't feel love, you don't feel you don't feel cared for. And the and gangs and affiliation always seem to give you a sense of, of dignity, of, of importance, of a, a place in this world. You know what I'm saying? Because it's smoke and mirror. They make you feel like that you are part, even just the simple handshakes make you feel like you're a part of a family. It's the it's the it's the the gestures that make you feel like you're a part of a, of a family. They teach you the same lingo. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can be around somebody who ain't affiliated with you and y'all can be talking about something and saying certain numbers and explaining things and that person don't have a clue what you're talking about. It makes you feel like you're a part of something. When they cooking and they having little gatherings and this, this and that and having meetings and you go in there and they tell you you need to come to the meeting and this, this and that then when they they, they giving you incentives and they didn't, then they give you then they celebrating certain things. Your birthday Birthday, they doing certain things for you. They have a little, they have a little meals. They cook for you, bringing them to you. All of that is designed to make you feel like you a part of something. But then the whole time, the enemy not letting, not allowing you to see all the destruction and chaos and division that really go on amongst it and being a part of this. It ain't, it ain't never what you think it is. And I'm gonna tell you something, as men, this is another thing that was crazy to me. As men, how is it that you gotta say, we gotta be a part of something that, we gotta be a part of colors, streets, communities, come up with uh, symbols and certain things for us to say we're claiming the same thing for us to have some type of unity. We should be able to say that as men in mankind. You're a man. I'm a man. I put on my pants one leg at a time just like you. Why come we can't say that and get along and come up with something? Why is it that you are oh, here a crib? He a, he a rolling 40. Oh, I'm with him. Oh, he, oh, he GD. He BD. He a vice lord. He unknown. He this. He that. Oh, he ghost. He Piru. He treetop. He this. He this. He from 15. He from 14. He from this street. I'm from this street. So we ride with them. Why ain't it? Oh, oh, we're all men. Because within these organizations, guess what they all trying to do? They try, They supposed to be taking care of each other and making sure people are okay in the community. Why don't we do that as men? Why do we? Why is it that we got to be a part of something that we are having an opposition with the other thing that's also supposed to have the same agenda and motives? Why is that? We should both be coming together to make sure we're out both accomplishing the ultimate goal. It just doesn't make sense because even if we're doing what we're supposed to be doing, y'all doing what y'all supposed to be doing, but we clash, that means that we all clash, and guess what the enemy do? He trick us all out of getting to the place that we're trying to get to. It just does not make sense to me. That's why when you look at the word, the word ain't, ain't treating, ain't, ain't creating gangs and organizations. It's creating a body. And then in the word, get what it explained to you. The arm can't move without the leg. The leg can't say it don't need the mouth. The mouth can't say it don't need the nose. The nose can't say it, it don't need the eye. The eyes can't say it don't need the ears. And get what? The, the body function, when the body function in there and one and all together, the body is, is doing what? what it's supposed to do, function and how it's supposed to function. It's not creating division. It's not it's not a it's not a goal. It's nothing behind the scene. That, no 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 no. It is what it's supposed to be. I just don't understand that as men. And there's going to be a lot of men who are going to watch it. And if you jump in the comment section and you listen to this part, it's going to be a lot of men who are going to defend games and organizations. And they're not even going to realize you're still programmed. You're still being used. You're still not, listen to me, you still don't understand the calling on your life and who the most high calls you to be. You still thinking that you're, that you need to be a part of something. You think, listen to me. A man created the organization in the gangs. And the truth of the matter is, guess what? They never thought it was going to be what it was, what it became today. They was kids when they came up with this stuff. If you pay attention to it, they was young. And what they was trying to do is, they were just trying to create something that was going to bring some kind of form of unity, which turned into a monster. Because people always, once something starts to grow, people start to get power. People people feel, uh, get a sense of power and authority, and then they abuse it. And that's what happens in most situations. 
generation. When I was growing up in my town, guess what? We we also came up with certain streets and little organizations and gangs and little cliques. We never thought that they was just gonna blow up. These folks did the same thing, and now they all over the world. And still, we can't come together and say, you're a man and I'm a man. Why can't we just do, do whatever it is we gotta do together? Why is it because you a G and you a vice lord, at some point we got to look at each other different. You a crip and you a blood, we can't, what? It just does not even make sense. It, it makes sense to who though? The enemy. Because what the enemy do, what is, what is, what is they gonna do? If you ain't already got the book, go get the book. You are not rocking with the kid, Joe T. Okay, so boom, penitentiary rules is in effect. 